Howdy from the Adventure Van. I got my bed back here. Christopher is uh, using the front seat with an ice chest and the floorboard to extend it. Running the van, warming it up in here a little bit. It's not cold out, but it's chilly a little bit. And I have been worked to the bone, and it feels good to hurt. It's good to strain yourself. Keeps you healthy when you do. I need a lot more of this in my life. Some work and hobbies. And I got some things up my sleeve. big long-term plans like I can't really launch my YouTube and have any results without a bank account and I haven't had a bank account in years I owe uh, quite a bit in child support for my 25 year old child I got child support for my younger two um, but I do got it down to about 7300 and I got one personal debt that's uh, a little over four thousand. Uh, I got something cooking that uh, make me around twenty thousand dollars, hopefully, and uh, pay off my child support, pay off half my debt to uh, my dear friend in North Dakota that's helped me out of some binds in the past buy me a sailboat and buy the materials to put a metal roof on my house that's kind of my my twenty thousand dollar plan uh, I'd like to have at least two grand to look for a sailboat and a grand to get it where I need it to work on it because uh, I want to do the Mississippi River again. I want to attempt it again. But this time I want to do it on a sailboat with a cabin. Get rid of that pitch and tents and all that every day and getting chewed up by the bugs. I can find a place to anchor or tie off and hide <laughs> when the bugs are bad run a generator and a small AC at night when I'm trying to sleep would be a huge freaking thing yeah I know it's not roughing it but I am not trying to to rough it every little thing in my life man I went through my years of roughing it of sleeping in bivy sacks in the mountains, camping in the winter and waking up with uh, six, six inches of snow on top of me. And I've done that that suffering and and those kayakers that go up and down the Mississippi, go, go down the Mississippi every year. Uh, there's a level of suffering to that and um, my feet hurt too bad for that kind of experience right now. But I would like to get out there adventuring. I tend to lose weight every time I do. I get away from my kitchen and my deep freeze. Uh, and as long as my mother's alive, I got somebody there to watch my house when I go off and do stuff. So, long story short, I have... Uh, I have uh, a plan with my other best friend in Kentucky and uh, he's about making the magic happen and and I'm about helping my friends uh, any way I can my close and respected ones uh, the ones that I I look up to the people I look up to and it's not that many people but uh I have a couple I do, and I respect the shit out of them, and 
their lives and what they do and uh, those are the people that I can get behind and that's why I'm here in Hager City Wisconsin across from from Red Wing over there that's why I am uh, here to help Brad with the cleanup unannounced me and my boy <laughs> and uh, we're gonna spend one more day tomorrow and uh, help with some things around here after doing a lot of heavy freaking hauling work me to the bone and but I come equipped I got some herbal remedies and I have some uh, muscle relaxers <laughs> so yay I'm gonna hopefully sleep good tonight well anyways let's take a step out here look at the river man I could spend days here just gazing gazing at the river watching the water go by and watching debris go by today too big old logs and shit rolling down the river mm. well, let's spin this around harbor bar and there it is the Mississippi River up there on top of that hill is a rare flag on top of this little mountain thing that's in Red Wing it's all lit up it's cool one of these days I'll drive up there to see it there's the bridge that separates Red Wing and uh, Hager City, Wisconsin. The state line is the Mississippi River. Beautiful. It is a beautiful night. Uh, I love 50 degree camping. It's way better than 100 degree camping. Or 30 below camping. I'll leave the 30 below camping to uh, to camping with Steve on YouTube. <laughs> I like watching him do it. Fuck it. I get the opportunity. I will do that one of these days. It'd be a way to shoot a video in my own damn yard for YouTube. I need to get into better habit of doing that. Well, there he is. The adventure man. my view alright I got a couple of videos on here of uh, small videos of what went on today and uh, and yeah uh, that's cool good morning this is Rambo this is day two for me, uh, helping out at Harbor Bar. There's Christopher, and there's Brad on phase two for me, phase infinity for him. Loading up the trailer with uh, tables today. Getting the bar put back together. All right, peace out everybody. Howdy, this is Rambo. Busy day today. Got all the tables back in, stools, yeah, yeah, getting all that crap done. We got all the tables in. Hey, Billy. What's up? <laughs> Did you just plug it out? And we had this all the stuff together for. Getting the kitchen started again. Come on. 
walk around to the cooler outside. And got the the big coolers in there at the end on the outside bar. Busy, long, hard day, but absolutely satisfying after a winter time of laziness in the land of the ice and snow, in North Dakota. It's been raining all day. Uh, that hasn't been perfect, but. Beautiful weather here on the Mississippi River at Red Wing. Well, there's the adventure van. Well, peace out, everybody. Peace.